Seriously. Do, doing a short rant today. Doing a real short rant. Two items. Short rant. Item one. Yes, item one. I'm telling you, item one. Item one is over the two ladies in the military garb breastfeeding. I'm gonna let that sink in for a second. Two women were at a rally. They changed into their ABUs and then proceeded to breastfeed. I'm waiting. Is everyone done assuming? Are we done assuming? Good. <sighs> one. Item number one. I am not against breastfeeding in any way, shape, or form. I'm not. That's not what bothers me. I'm not even offended by it. Again, that's not what bothers me. But when you look at the picture, you'll notice they are outside. When you're outside and on the flight line, you are to be wearing your hat. You are to be in full military gear if you are in military gear. Because if an officer comes by, you are supposed to salute said officer. Apparently, when women need to breastfeed, this means you can take off your hat, means you can disavow any knowledge of any regulation whatsoever, and resume breastfeeding. Now, notice what I said, disavow any regulation. You notice what I said there? Regulation and the AFI, Air Force Instruction, are the main two reasons that the controversy came up. That was the main two reasons. Like the calendar here is the point. Regulation. Following the regulations, following the terms, following the law, following the UCMJ. That's the point. Everyone who's arguing over the fact that it's just over breastfeeding, they're way the fuck over here somewhere. They're missing the point entirely. There are many, th many programs in place to permit breastfeeding. And discretion is key. I mean, I can be a total pain in the ass about this and go, well, if you're going to flaunt yourself around like that, just take off your shirt and walk around with your kids all day. I could be that evil. That's not how I see it. Discretion is key. There's a reason why people... How can I say this? They're not trying to hide their breastfeeding, but they're trying to make sure they're out of the way because our culture is very politically correct. It's very politically correct. That's why some people can't walk up to a girl and say, Hey, I like the way you look. Hey, you look sexy with the hair up. They can't say that because the girl could freak out and say that's sexual harassment. It's a very politically correct society. So if you are breastfeeding and someone finds it offensive, guess what? We're still stuck in that same little boat. It's a problem. Be mindful of that. But again, that was not the major issue of the whole military point on this. The military point was they were out of regulation. They were outside without a hat on. They were using their uniform to further the goals of a third party organization. That was what the military was worried about. But everyone is focused so much on what the picture showed, which is breastfeeding. I don't want to hear it. That's the only thing they worried about. Oh! The military is against breastfeeding now. No, the military is not against breastfeeding. The military was stating that there was a violation of regulation. That sounds like a hip hop song. <laughs> violation of regulation. No, but seriously.
That was the major issue there. Not because they were breastfeeding. I mean, hell, it could have been a black guy punching a white guy and everyone would have been like, Oh my gosh! It's a racial thing! They're both in the Air Force and the black guy just punched the white guy because the white guy decided to run over his cat or something. It's not exactly racial, it's a reaction to what happened prior. But of course, everyone's just going, Ah, yeah, it's a racial thing! And why do I say this? Because look at the breastfeeding picture! Everyone's focusing on the breastfeeding and not the freaking fact that the regulations were broken. Freaking legal has to sit there and beat it in everyone's head. We're not worried about breastfeeding right now. Yes, we see we have to adjust this and get it in the regulations, but we're not worried about that. We're worried about the fact that they are outside without a hat on. We're worried about the fact that they are sitting there in a rally and it changed into uniform to further their goals. You can't do that. That's a big no-no. Line item number two. Line item number two is over PT. Now, I'm not going to sit there and say, PT's bad, even though I'm a very cynical person, and I went to Dover and processed dead bodies that were in better shape than nine-tenths of the military forces. <clears throat> not going into that. What I am going to go into, however, is the fact that when someone embodies the whole culture of being fit, when they embody it, and then the military goes after them for something bad in PT standards, what? A six foot three guy, around the max is about 210, 220. 220 is like the max weight. Well, according to my personal care manager or whatever, he told me 200 is my max. I am not that muscular. And I'm at 190. I'm not that heavy, but I'm not that muscular. So with that being said, if I do weightlifting and I start getting bigger and I hit the max weight, I'm fucked. Period. And there's a guy in the Marine Corps who has actual 10% body fat. 10% from actual test, 10%. The military says he has 20% because it's a ticker tape thing. So they're trying to get him kicked out of the military for, get this, brace, wait for it, wait for it, being physically fit. Out of a 300 point system, he has 298. He's never dropped below 250 in the 300 point system, and yet they're trying to get him out of the military for being fat. Mind boggling. This is why things need to be put in place. And yes, there are little things that he can go get a waiver for this. Well, by the military law, we can, just by that logic by itself, we can't have wrestlers ever in the military. Because most of them are strong guys. So they have a lot more weight. I think The Rock is about 250, 235 to 250 pounds. The Rock. He's a physically fit guy, but he can't be in the military because he's too big. Not everyone in the freaking Air Force flies jets. Not everyone in the Marines can do cartwheels. It... All I'm going to suggest is one, look into nursing uniforms for the women for breastfeeding and all that, so we don't have to worry about the regulation being popped on a small technicality. Two, when it comes to fitness, if someone's embodying it and you test them and there's no signs of drugs whatsoever, put that in perspective, okay? If the guy is always going to Afghanistan and he's working out always in Afghanistan, then chances are there's going to be proof and evidence that he's always working out in Afghanistan. Focus, people. JRR. Out in under 12 minutes. Ha ha ha! Told you.